Today, we're going over the installation of the beaver tail rudder for your Big Fish 105 and 120. To get started, remove the original foot pegs on both sides of the kayak by unscrewing them and setting aside. Next, build the new footrests with the steerable toe pivots by placing the metal springs between the footrest and the toe pivot and snapping into place. Next, screw the new rudder cable tension bolt into the hole, leaving a small amount visible as shown. Then run the rudder cables on both sides through the tension bolt and around the toe pivots as shown. Screw the footrests into place on each side and run the rudder cables through the boat until they pop out of the rear of the kayak. Next, tape the toe pivots by wrapping masking tape around the entire unit so it stays vertical and move to the rear of the boat. To install the rudder itself, begin by unscrewing the rudder pin from the rudder. Place the thicker washer over the opening in the back of the boat and place the rudder over it. Then, place the second washer on the base of the rudder as shown and run the rudder pin through the washers, rudder, and kayak and screw it into place. Now, use the provided pins to prevent the rudder from shifting up and down as shown. Now, take the rudder cables and feed them through the bolts located on the rudder. And then, using the wrench and allen key provided, tighten the cable into place. It's important before tightening these screws all the way to be sure that the toe pivots are still taped in the vertical position. Now, install the uphaul cord cleat on the side of your kayak in the molded indention found on the side of the cockpit. Pre-drill starter holes with an electric drill and a 3 seconds drill bit using the cleat as a template. Then use the screws provided to attach the cleat to the kayak. Run the uphaul cord from the rudder through the kayak, being sure the cable goes over the rear roller and under the front roller as shown. Then feed the cable through your kayak until it pops out the other side and attach the ball at the desired length by tying a knot and trimming any excess cord. Then remove the tape from the toe pivots and test the action of the rudder to be sure it's working properly. Once you're happy with the tension, clip off any excess rudder cable with a pair of wire cutters and add the cable crimps to the ends. Be sure you leave a reasonable amount of cable sticking out of the rudder in the event you need to adjust it in the future. Now you're ready to get out on the water and enjoy your new steerable rudder system. If you have any questions or to learn more about our kayaks, visit threewaterskayaks.com or contact your local dealer.